So apparently I'm being pulled over because my light bar that I've had on my car for a year and a half, almost two years now, is too bright and it's blinding people and I've never had an issue with it before. So I guess we're, I asked him if I was getting a ticket and he said, yeah. And I, I don't even know. I've never had an issue with it before. So I guess we'll see. I literally pulled into work too. and. I pulled into work and he turns on his lights and he's like, yeah, the, the lights mean to stop. So, uh, and I was like, well, I'm was pulling into work and he goes, oh, okay. I didn't know you worked here. So, and apparently that's that. So I'm just waiting for him to come back with whatever he's going to say. So we'll see. He said it's prohibited light that can't be used on a car. So. February at 3 o'clock here in Gresham. All the options do apply on the back. If you want to take care of it online, in person, over the phone. Oh, I can do it online? Yep. Yep, the website app or something. Oh, that makes it easy so I don't have to go over there. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, uh, You can't have any fog lights or anything on the front of your car. If you have fog lights and they're street legal fog lights, they're treated as high I was going to say, is there any, uh, is there like a way that they, is like a certain brightness that I can't like surpass? No, not for that type of lighting. Well, no, I'm just saying in general. They said right on the box if you bought that, that it said it was for off-road use, off use only. Well, see, that's the thing. It came with the car because okay. I bought it off offer up and I bought it in Vancouver. So everything that you see on the car, it came with when I bought it. So I didn't install anything. So, yeah. and like I said, I've never had an issue with it the year and a half I've had it. So I, this is the first time. So a lot of cops don't know about it. I'm a traffic cop, so I know all the legalities of lighting. Oh, is it? Okay, so, cool. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Just make sure it gets corrected. Yeah, for sure. Really use it off-road. Okay, well, this <laughs> car can't go off-road. <laughs> you're out on Kelso Road or where you live and there's nobody around you and you use them. Yeah, see, I, in the my, middle of the night, that's one thing. my parents live out in Boring in the middle of nowhere and I always use it too, so. But here on Stark, in the middle of the day, there's no, no reason for that type of lighting. Okay. All right. All right, well, yeah. thank you. Have a good day. I guess uh, there's that. So I guess that's, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So I'll see you guys later. What's going on guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to another vlog cam fam. And today's vlog started off really interesting. I got pulled over today as I pulled into my works parking lot, but that's a story I will get to in a second. But first I need to change out of my work clothes. So. Oh, alrighty, now time to get to the story time that you all want to hear about. So yes, I unfortunately got pulled over and it was for something that I didn't even know was going on. So, I let's just start from the beginning. So I'm on my way to work, right? I'm not speeding at all. I'm going 40 and <clears throat> I get to a traffic light and my light's red. I'm in the turn lane and the oncoming traffic their light was red and there is a Kia and a Ford Explorer with regular organ plates that ended up being a cop was unmarked completely with regular organ plates and so once their light turned green they passed my light turned a flashing yellow and I had to wait until I could go so as soon as he passed me he did a u-turn and I was like what if that's a cop and only a cop would do that that would be the only thing that makes sense so I turned to go into my works parking lot and as soon as I got into my parking lot he flips his lights on and little do I know I'm being pulled over. So I was like great what what could I have done? I don't know what I could have done. So I go to park and I'm in my normal spot and I go to park how I norm normally park. I always back into any parking spot I can and so I go to pull forward so I can back in straight. He got so damn close to my car, I couldn't even move an inch. He was like this close to my car, and I was like, okay, well, obviously he doesn't want me to move. I'll just stay here. I rolled down my window, and he walks up to my car. Now, this is where things get interesting. I asked him, how's your day going? What's going on? He didn't even want to have a friendly conversation. He was, To be honest, he was quite the dick. So, 
he just went straight to license registration. I was like, okay, cool. He's going to be one of these cops. And uh, he, I gave him my license, and he was like, where's your registration? And I'm like, it's on my phone. Let me get it. And he was like, okay, well, hurry up. Obviously, someone was angry because they missed out on coffee and donuts this morning. I don't know what was up his butt, but I was getting the shitty end of the stick for no for no reason. So, you know, he was like, do you know why I pulled you over? I was like, honestly, I have no clue. He goes, your light bar's on. That's using prohibited lighting, which goes against... Let me see. I have it pulled up here. He goes, it goes against 816.330. And that's what he wrote on the ticket. So, that's where the first mistake comes in 816.331 is operating without required lighting equipment which means he technically he basically wrote me a ticket for not having any headlights or taillights which is false because i obviously have headlights and taillights on my car so this is where things get really interesting so i didn't know that my light bar was on because my button to turn on my light bar is by my knee Every once in a while, I'll hit it and bump it with my knee unintentionally and on accident. So, I told, tried to tell him that it was an accident. He was not having it. He was just trying to be, you know, he was badgering me and just like, I don't want to say bullying, but he was, you know, badgering me and being real harsh with me. So, I tried to tell him, I was like, hey, you know what, I didn't know it was on because it must have gotten bumped with my knee. I even tried showing him that the button was right by my knee. He didn't even want to look. He just was doing, he was just having his own attitude, trying to get, have his way, and obviously he did because I got the ticket. But, later on, I was doing some research online and asked a couple of friends who know some people who are cops and asked some friends who are cops, and uh, I found out that the prohibited the use of prohibited lighting is actually a violation to 816.360 not 330 so he wrote me a he wrote me a ticket for the wrong violation and he was a complete dick about it so not only did i bump it on accident but he wrote me a citation for the completely wrong violation so I am going to go fight that and try and get it dropped because I've done some research and read that if they make a mistake and write you a ticket for the wrong violation, you are more than likely able to get that dropped. So that is how my day went and that is, we're here now. So my court date is on February 9th of this year, obviously. So hopefully I can get that dropped and bring that up and uh, to my defense saying that he wrote me a ticket for the wrong violation and it was an accident because I didn't know about it Like I said, somebody must have been upset that they missed out on coffee and donuts. I don't know what was going on, but You know, that's that's the story time. So Hopefully you guys today enjoyed today's video. I wasn't even planning on making a video But this just gave me some content to make a video for so I was gonna switch up my vlogging schedule I'm gonna try and update or update upload Monday Wednesday Friday but this just happened to give me some content. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys have a good night. And I will catch you all tomorrow. So peace.